We have created these quick ID sheets to help you ID your mushrooms. Here's the oyster mushroom. The oyster mushroom cap can range in size up to 8 inches. It is a larger mushroom. This mushroom could be white to gray to dark brown. The margin is inrolled when young. The cap is smooth and sometimes wavy or lobed. There's gills underneath and it has an offset cap so the mushroom appears as if it's on the side of the stem or stipe. Oysters sometimes have a slight fishy smell or a very mushroomy smell. Some people have even described it as a bittersweet smell. Flesh is white and firm, very firm, and mostly grows on trees in the wild. It will grow on shelf-like clusters, sometimes fanning in clusters. The gills are white to cream and can yellow slightly with age. Gills descend slightly down the stem or stipe. Spore print will be white to lilac gray. This mushroom is a choice edible, very good tasting mushroom, and one of the easier mushrooms to identify. Please use several resources when investigating your wild mushroom finds. There are some similar looking mushrooms, so please be aware. But in this video, I'm just showing pictures of different oyster mushrooms. There are several different varieties, but it doesn't even begin to cover all the varieties of oysters there are. This beautiful yellow oyster mushroom is awesome. There's so many different colors and types. I just love them. And there's a short video at the end of this. Some of the awesome benefits of the oyster mushroom is it is a choice edible. Very good tasting mushroom, especially when young. Oyster mushroom spore can be collected and grown at home for a homemade garden project, which I do. It's awesome and fun, and I have some other videos that show this, if you guys would like to learn how to do it yourselves. And a neat fact, the mycelium kills nematodes in your garden, so having these in the garden will kill some of your garden nematodes. Thank you for watching Vicky's Garden Adventures. There are some neat mushroom hikes that I go on and we look for these oyster mushrooms in the wild so my friend wanted a picture of the bottom of the oyster mushroom so when she finds them in the wild she can identify them which I want to put online because I think that's a great idea. If you see ones that you know 100% are oyster mushrooms then you know what to look for in the wild. And I broke the stem off this guy because unbelievably strong and rubbery. I can barely break it off with my hand. This guy's older because I was collecting the spores from him. And just some pictures to use for identification purposes. The way the gills are formed and they move on into the stem. Now this was interesting. I just was curious what it tasted like raw so I took a bite and I do not recommend them raw it tastes like rubber but since it's safe I took a bite as curious people do but here's a good close-up of the gills so when you find these guys in the wild it'll help you with your identification be safe use a couple different books and a couple different references when you're in the wild but here's the oyster to help you up close this is an older one this mushroom's probably 10 days now huge getting some huge ones out here in the greenhouse but I love the mushroom hikes they're free you can find them online for your local area love the woods love walking in the woods Something fun to do if you're a plant fanatic like me.